What's up, people? Today we'll be talking about Patrick Modiano. He's a French author, um, specifically, mainly Villa Trist. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, mainly this one, but I'm also going to talk about this one, Out of the Dark. They're both pretty similar, both short novels. Um, so about the author, um, he's a Nobel Prize winner. He's one of the biggest authors in France. I heard about him through the Better Than Food book reviews channel. And now it kind of pretty much launched me into um, European literature, especially modern European literature. I haven't really read much like translated works in general. <clears throat> um, so yeah, it's interesting. I'm, on, I'm, at, I'm about to read the third Patrick Modiano book and uh, that I've read so far and each one has a, had a different translator so it's been interesting to see the differences between that I've never really experienced that before even though I, I preferred Villa Trist more I liked the translation of uh, of Out of the Dark more than uh, that one <clears throat> but anyways um, all of his books are written in, fr in French obviously so uh, each one has a translator he doesn't write them in English. Um, Out of the Dark is the 2014 Nobel Prize winner for literature. Um, he was born in 1945. He is currently 71. A little bit more about him. Excuse me. Uh, his parents met in Paris. Uh, Paris occupied France, so Germany had taken it over during World War II. His wife introduced him to the literary world and he published his first book at 22 um, which interesting fact is his father disliked his book so much that he bought all of the copies so no one would read it and uh, even though he was publishing everything uh, Modiano in his own words writes about the pool of the past the threat of disappearance and the blurring of morality. Um, and he also says, in the end we are all determined by the place and time we are born in. Um, he's really well known in France apparently, but outside of that he ha hasn't, isn't very well known. I'm sure since he won the Nobel Prize it kind of launched him more into more international acclaim. But a little bit about the book, starting off with Villa Trist. Um, to kind of get you like the type of atmosphere that he writes is one of his biggest themes are his memory so like the way he writes kind of makes me think I'm kind of in this murky smoky haze of just like going from being in the present to being in the past and uh, he's kind of vague with his words sometimes so it's just like you don't really know where you are sometimes and it's kind of cool to experience like memory from someone else um, but the main character in both of these I feel like are kind of, I, I, I mean I, I don't know but I feel like they're semi-autobiographical of just kind of him when he was younger they both are about a young man um, he in France, and this one it's a small little uh, ski town, and this one it's Paris. And it's just kind of about him running into a girl, and then having this adventure, and like going on, like just kind of living, not really, I mean, I wouldn't really say an adventure, but just like these life experiences he has with these women for only like a short amount of time, and then they split and they never really see each other again. It's just kind of about the types of relationships with these temporary people in our lives and how big of an impact they can have on our entire lives, even though he had only known these women for, you know, about a year or six months or so. And he's still thinking about it as an older man. Um, what else? Yeah, so the woman he meets in this book, 
She's a young actri- actress. He's 18, um, and she's 20. And just uh, after meeting each other, they just immediately become inseparable, and they're kind of uh, experience everything together. Uh, the little small village that she's from in France, or that they're in in France, is where she's from. Um, and so, and I actually really liked the names of these characters a lot. I'm a bit, I'm really picky about character names. But the woman, the 20, 20 year old, is her name's Yvonne, and uh, and the guys he goes by Count Chamara because he says he's a um, can't remember which country, but he's a count of some sort because she's rich and probably about to be famous, and he just kind of feels like this lowly nobody who just wants to be a writer. <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, so Yvonne is from this little small town, and they also, one of the other main characters, I think I'm pronouncing it right, is a Minth. That's his last name, so they just call him by that, and they both are from that little small village, and, uh, they just kind of take, um, the Count in, and they just kind of become a group, and they kind of never really separate Yvonne and him, at least. And it's just kind of about their experiences and, like, the things he goes through. It's his first real love and just that type of experiences. And in my opinion, this is, like, the ideal romance novel, I guess, for me. Um, this is a young writer wanting to um, see more of the world and experience. And, uh, and just kind of going on these tiny adventures, which are just, you know, walking the village or like going to these like fancy parties and kind of just uh oh and this takes place in the 1960s I forgot to mention but uh it just kind of gives me those like uh Hemingway vibes and uh, that whole writing group from the 1920s all the American writers in the 1920s in Paris of them just hanging out kind of living life to the fullest just like eating, drinking, have a good, having a good time, just um, living their lives, and it was just really cool to see this, and, uh, and yeah, so I would definitely suggest this, uh, Modiano has become, like, one of my favorite writers, for sure, um, if you like Hemingway, or, um, Steinbeck, or any of these guys that just kind of write pretty straightforward, um, and this one, with Out of the Dark, this is the first one I read. This is the one that I heard about from Better Than Foods. Uh, it's a lot shorter. This one's 170 pages. This one's only 140. Uh, and even the, the pages aren't that big. So it's like, for most people, it'd take a day. It took me a couple of days. But, um, but yeah, so this one is more about like, I get, actually kind of both of them do this, where he's older and he like sees something and it reminds him of this period of his life, and so it's him thinking back, and then it kind of jumps back. Uh, the chapters jump back from present day to past, and without really telling you, so like he, he kind of gives you clues to follow by. Excuse me, but. Yeah, so this one's kind of about the same thing where he, like, runs into this woman in Paris. They're both, like, 18 or 19, even though she has a another boyfriend at the time. And then they end up breaking up, and then they get together, but only for a short amount of time. And then just as soon as she comes into his life, she disappears. And, you know, this is the 1960s, so it's just harder to keep up with people and... Once someone's gone, they're usually gone for, for good. And so it's just kind of about remembering these people that were very important to you in just a very short amount of time and the big impact that they had on them. But yeah, so, so some of my likes and dislikes, um, I'm not much of a romance like book person at all. I've never really read those, but these are like probably like what I consider kind of a romance novel in my point in my perspective but it's about memory love loss 
identity. Um, I really like the names. And then, like, some of the dislikes was um, just kind of, like, experiencing the translation. Like, at first, I didn't think I was going to like Villatrist because I could already tell that the translation wasn't as good as, as uh, this one, Jordan Stump, who also translated a um, Mysterious Island, which I can't think of who that's by. It's another French author, which I plan on reading, but... But once I kind of got like the flow of this one, I started liking it more, and then like just the story itself, I enjoyed more um, than Out of the Dark. But both very good. I gave them both five stars. And some quotes, just to kind of give you a sense of uh, his writing style and what you're getting into. If you want to read this, is um. Soon we couldn't hear any more words. They were muffled by a very soft cotton wool cocoon. Had Menth not arrived, I, I don't think we would have moved for days and days. We would have let ourselves die from hunger and thirst rather than leave the villa. I've never again known moments so full and so low as, as those. Opium, it said, can provide them. I doubt it. Except for her uncle and Claude, Yvonne didn't seem to me to have left anything behind in that town. And I was amazed that you could sever your roots so quickly, even <clears throat> quickly when you were so lucky to have somewhere. Jeez. So, let me just start over. Except for her uncle and Claude, Yvonne didn't seem to, to me to have left anything behind in that town. And I was amazed that you could ever sever your roots so quickly. When you weren't, when you were so lucky to have them, oh my gosh, when you were lucky enough to have some somewhere. <sighs> Talking about this translation, I feel like he didn't use any contractions, and so it's just like kind of wordy. It's just like I don't know, some of it just doesn't flow as well as I feel like it should have, as it does in Out of the Dark. But uh, and then moving on, fifty six. She put on her beach robe with big orange and green stripes and lay across the bed to smoke a cigarette. On her night table, along with the lipstick or the atomizer, there were always wads of banknotes lying around. Where did that money come from? How long had she been staying at Hermitage? They had put her up there for the duration of the film, but now that, that it was finished, it was very important to her, to, she explained, to spend the season in the resort town. The season was going to be very brilliant. Resort, season, very brilliant. Count Chamara, who is lying to whom in this foreign language? But maybe she just needed company. I showed myself attentive, considerate, tactful, and passionate, as one is at 18. So yeah, I hope that gives you kind of a sense if you're interested in getting into some modern French literature. I definitely suggest Patrick Modiano. Um, both those books are very good, and I plan on <clears throat> getting to, I have behind here, where is it, Cafe of Lost Youth. I'm getting to that very soon, so thanks for tuning in.